are a ghost with a body. If you lose the body, people say you're a ghost. See, now when you have a body, everybody likes you. The moment you lose, lose a body, people are afraid of you. It's unnecessary. It's all right, you're a ghost with a body, some are ghost without a body. Today, we venture into a topic that has puzzled humanity for centuries, ghosts. This begins the question, are ghosts actually real? Do spirits walk among us? Is there a difference between a ghost and a spirit? Some people even claim that ghosts reincarnate. By that I mean, while they are declared dead in some place, there are tales of them living in other climes or communities, usually far away from where they were declared dead and even buried. So to dive into this topic, I turn to a great source, an important man of God, a pastor. And I ask, what does faith say about this spectral apparition? Interesting, right? Make sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss out on anything because every bit of this documentary is very, very informative and important. But before we go into the details, it will interest you to know that many tribes and most part of the world believe in the existence of ghosts. For instance, in Africa, many tribes believe in the fact that ghosts actually exist. Now, the Yorubas, the Maasai, uh, the Zulus, even the Cherokees, even the Romans also believe in this phenomenon. Interesting, right? So with that said, let's dive deep. Join us as we uncover insights that might just change your perspective forever about ghosts. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's begin our journey into the unknown. Ready? Let's go! So I started by asking him the first question. First of all, let us understand that when we are talking of a spirit, God himself is spirit. According to John chapter 4 verse 24, so there is an uh, existence of a uh, spirit which God himself is. Then God, the God of spirits himself, he created spirits also. According to Numbers chapter 16 verse 22, he is the one that created human beings and is the spirit that governs the spirit of men. Also, I want us to understand that God made his angel spirit. There are spirits, spirits, angels, angelic beings are spirit. Human beings have spirit in them. And uh, any other creation, creatures of God. So that is it. But as to its existence, that is exactly what it is. Then if uh, we look at these spirit apparitions and so on and so forth then yes we were well, human beings we do see apparitions they are mere apparitions we do see spirits uh, uh, and so on wow it's fascinating to learn about the biblical perspective on spirits and apparitions well understanding these uh, references help helps us to see how deeply ingrained these beliefs are in our cultural and religious fabric. Then, uh, in my own experience about the belief and the differences between ghost and spirit, I do believe that there is uh, ex an existence of spirit like I said the other time, earlier on, God is spirit. So, as he is a spirit, he created other spirits from himself. Therefore, and uh, when we are talking of ghosts, ghosts are different things. So, ghost is uh, merely a spirit of a dead person. Ghost is a spirit of a dead person that has gotten out of the body of that person, of that human being. 
So the body is already dead. The spirit that got out is called ghost. So uh, spirit is a living uh, force. Ghost is the spirit of a dead man that has uh, gotten out of his uh, body. So and uh, the the difference, the differences between them are this one. Spirit is a life force of a, a person that is living. That is the spirit. Ghost is a spirit of a dead person that has gotten out of that body. And then we declare that person dead. That's a profound distinction. Differentiating between ghosts and spirits adds a new layer to our understanding. It's quite intriguing to see how these concepts vary and what they symbolize within the context of faith and religious teachings. Yeah, what I think about these uh, experiences, uh, yes, we have heard uh, of many instances where people have had encounter with ghosts or ghosts. Yes, we have seen. We have heard of people who said they have seen the person that have died, they are related relatives or somebody they knew, friends or whatever that they have seen that they after they might have died, they've seen them either when they travel or seen them in, in another land or so and so on and so forth. So people claim that and uh, this is exactly what I have learned from uh, people like this. Whether these encounters are psychological phenomena or something beyond, it's clear they have a powerful impact on those who experience them. It's crucial to consider all possibilities. Now, for me, my own belief is this. As a man of God, I've truly, even before I became a pastor, I've had some experiences concerning ghosts or somebody who have died. And uh, the, I was a young boy long time ago in the 60s in the 60s i was a young boy that time and uh, one of my great great grandfather who died see come back you see he came back into the house to come and take some of his belongings he used to come in in the dead of night around 1 a.m between 1 a.m 3 a.m in the in the morning he used to come but after some time when the elderly has to do something about it and uh, he stopped coming but not until he has gone away with some of his belongings that he, he left behind when he was he, he, he died so we did, we did not see those things again we did not see those things again. So this made me go uh, with my uh, young mind that time. So I was so inquisitive and I used to ponder whether this is true or not. But then I was sleeping in that room that this thing actually happened. Then another of my experience is that somebody came that this, uh, my dead grand great grandfather uh, owed him some amount of money then we have to go to where he was buried and uh, uh, some people who have special power they started calling him and they conjure his spirit they say they conjure his spirit and he spoke from the bush very very close to the tomb he spoke from there and uh, 
He said no, he did not uh, owe anybody anything. And so they scooped the sand from the tomb, put it in the water, that if the person that claimed that he owed him uh, anything can drink this water, then we will pay. But the person refused to drink the water, so we did not pay anything. And these are some experiences. But as a man of God now, I used to query this, because the scripture says, uh, a man will die but once after that judgment. But then, when we look at our experiences and so on, we want to realize that, yes, as I've said earlier on, that ghosts uh, can hang around in some cases, probably because of some unfinished businesses or business or businesses, or because of the act of wicked person with evil powers to catch the movement of the ghost of the dead person. This we refer to as akudaya and uh, the a kind of control the ghost activities. Uh, this also happen. This also happen. Some wicked people, powerful people, do do restrict the movement of the spirit of a dead person, which has now become a ghost. Don't forget the difference between a deep spirit and ghost is that the spirit is the living man, is in the living man, but the ghost is the spirit of the dead person that has gone out. But wicked people that has power, evil power, can actually control and they begin to use them for, for any of their evil activities. To think people have personal experiences with ghosts alone is unbelievable. I certainly don't want to experience that. <laughs> and now to the last question which I asked him. We, everything depends on people's belief and their background, their worldview, their orientation. Uh, as a Christian, I will tell them, one, if immediately a person uh, died, a person has died, that person has died. Though in the spirit realm, certain activity can continue to go on like that, but then to uh, the living, be living on earth, the person have gone and have gone. Because even persons that have died that they have seen, in another land, in another town, or somewhere else, that person cannot come back to where he was known before. He cannot. Immediately, he, real, he sees a person that knew him or her, he disappeared immediately, maybe to another place. So, this had been our experience. Therefore, people should not worry. People should not bother themselves. Uh, they only need to understand what the Word of God says. They should not bother themselves because immediately that per a, a person had died, that person had died. And uh, it, the next thing is judgment for that person. So that is the way I, I see it. Truly, in some religion, when a person died, the family still pray for the dead person, believing that their prayer will be helping him to actually see, get favor from God who is going to judge. So some, but some, they believe that the dead are not far away. They are around. And that is why they even uh, put food in the homes for them but I say as a Christian as a pastor now I want to tell them that all these things uh, they are not really real they are not really real but uh, everything will depend on the belief the religion and the experience and the orientation of every individual 
that advice is invaluable i must say encouraging people to seek peace and understanding whether through prayer reflection or seeking guardians offers a constructive way to cope with these experiences it's a comforting approach for those who feel unsettled or what do you think i hope you enjoy this topic ghosts figments of imagination or echoes of the afterlife now i want to believe that we all know better through our conversations we delved into the spiritual and psychological layers of these mysterious entities so whether you are a believer or a skeptic the question of ghosts invites us to ponder on the boundaries of our understanding we'd love to hear your thoughts do you believe in ghosts share your stories and perspectives in the comments below and don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with those who love a good mystery thank you for watching and until next time keep exploring take care and goodbye